Everybody and welcome to the highlights of this second semi-final coming to you from Kingsmead in Durban between India and Kenya. And of course, it's a sudden death semi-final this one. If you look at the situation so far on the table, Australia are through to the final. Sri Lanka, of course, on their way home. So it's all to play for here between India and Kenya. If we have a quick look at the head-to-head, -head, India have won nine of the games and Kenya have won two. So there's a bit of a sniff for them. OJ, the squad's OK, but the batting averages and the bowling averages certainly do tell a story, along with the recent form. India have won seven on the trot going to this game. So let's have a look at the sides that have been selected today. India are unchanged again. They've only used 12 players in this whole uh, World Cup, so uh, they're successful with those players they're playing, and they'll be looking to do the same again today. And Kenya, a couple of changes in their lineup. Thomas Adoyo and Morris Adumbi are back. They're both fit again, so they're back in. And Tony Suji and Bridgel Patel are the guys who are having a rest. Now, India won the toss and elected to bat. Let's pick up the action with our first two commentators, Sanjay Mandraker and also Robin Jackman. Tendulkar's career just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And you add all his test runs to that as well, 8,000 odd test runs, and uh, what's he, 20 odd thousand international runs for India Shewag, just uh, 67 matches, this is 67th. Milestone for him to pass 2,000 runs, he needs just another 36 to pass that. Will he do it in this World Cup, or better still, will he do it tonight? Two slips, three in the covers. Pretty orthodox field. And runs straight away, two of them. Won't be the quickest of outfields after all the rain that's fallen in the area. A Doyle. Beautiful shot. Well, that's Virendra Sehwag for you. He may not be in the greatest of form, but that won't stop the boundaries coming early. Shot, four runs to finish the over. Big one for India. 19 for no wicket. I beg you. Yes, I was right the first time. Nicely played off the back foot. They'll probably get three here. They do. That's good running from both of them. Tendulkar just makes the most of slight error from the bowler. It was just a little bit short and gave him an opportunity to put it away. Good shot. That'll go to the boundary. Oh, he's got hold of that. And one bounce over the rope. It's a bit of a long hop, that's put away. Some work to be done. Can't quite get there, so those four runs off the first ball of his spell. Driving on the up. Very good shot, just a half stop. Outfield is pretty slow because of uh, the rain. The old fella's got a chase at Asis Karim. And Tendulkar comes back for three. Sowag should be out now. The fieldsman is circling underneath it. Has he taken the catch? Morris Adumbi it is. He's a very, very good fielder, Morris Adumbi. 33 years of age. He hasn't missed that, and that is a big breakthrough initially for Kenya. This is pretty much what Kenya needed. They managed to bring the run rate back. It was just about six at one stage. Got it to below four. Then they needed to take a wicket. Well, Sewag is the man looking to hit towards the onside. The ball just straightening a bit. Maurice Adombe turning his back to the ball, not really the perfect position to be in. But he held on just the same. It's 74 for one. Still smiling. Lovely shot. That is a glorious shot from Sachin Tendulka. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Seven runs from the over, 78 for one. To full toss. There's a pass mid off. Yes, it is. Four runs, so that's going to hurt. Bound off the last ball of the over. Karim will not be happy with that loose one. So seven from the over, 20 gone, 85 for one. A 
that's well played. He's got that away fine. This outfield not the quickest. And good commitment in the deep. But yet another half century for the little man. And what a tournament he's having. Hit down the ground. He does hit the ball hard. That might have gone all the way. Yes, it has. And it didn't go very high. And he's after it. It was only a matter of time. It's on to the roof and over the roof. Just had a feeling that it was only a matter of time, Sanjay. Now, I wonder if that same person is still out there. Because that's gone a little further. Over the top. Well, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Cameraman scattering all over the place. Oh. Well, it's going to be wide, but it's a clever bit of bowling. He's a little unlucky. He's going to go all the way to the boundary and threw it up. It was the wrong one again. I think he's been listening to you, Sanjay. Oh, he's hit that. Out. What a wonderful catch. What a simply wonderful catch. Tendulkar needed height on it, didn't get it. Was beautifully caught. Well, he hasn't been able to get a lot of height on some of those pull shots. And this time he didn't find the gap. Still needed a bit of catching. It was powerfully hit. Well, fortunately, that Ob Oboya brother is tall. It's David Oboya, he's the tallest of them, and he held on well. 177 for two. Mohamed Kaif comes in with India, 177 for two at the dismissal of Tendulkar. It should be two. Kaif going to the danger end, and he's by far the quickest, as has been pointed out. Now he's gone mid-wicket, and he's done it very well. He's hit that uh, to deep backward square, oh, didn't quite get there, good effort in the end. Pit on Gondo it was, another boundary to Sarah Ganguly, that's what he's looking to do, hoist him leg side for four. Down the track again, he's launched that one, that's gone all the way, that's a huge hit, that is well played. It's cleared all those Indian spectators by a mile. Very, very good strike from Sarah Ganguly. Now the Kenyans are quite happy. Steve Buckner takes his time and eventually says, Simon Torfel, you better have a look at this. And Mohamed Kaif is walking. And this is a second impossible run that he's attempted. I'm not sure whether it was Ganguly who forced him into it or it was Mohamed Kaif's uh, responsibility at that time to say no. Would have been good enough. Ganguly would have stayed on strike. Good throw that off balance. It's a direct hit. What a throw that is. So the brilliance in the field for Kenyans continue to amaze us. Third umpire's decision. Simon Tofu, one of the easier ones. There it goes. Mohamed Kaif is run out. I think Mohamed Kaif should have said no to this one. Ganguly plays to the field and wants the run. Could have said no, Mohamed Kaif. Doesn't want to let the captain down. Direct hit and Kev has no chance he's uh, made uh, an important contribution 15 of 20 balls and India 233 for 3 Red Singh has just got that over Ravinder Shah that's going to go for 4 just over the top I reckon there's about 6 inches in it 
It was a good over up until then. Four runs off the last ball makes it seven off the over. 48 gone, 247 for three. Martin Suji about to finish his spell. Full toss to start with. He smashed that one. Has he gone out of the ground? Yes, he has. There it is. What an outstanding shot to bring up your 100. Sarah Ganguly, that's his third 100 in this World Cup. His 21st century. Correction, 22nd century overall. Another great captain's knock. And what an occasion to get that 100. It's the semi-finals of World Cup 2003. This is a full toss, but difficult to hit those out of the ground, and especially straight down the pitch. It was a slow delivery that went wrong. Nothing wrong with the shot. Again, he gets the distance. Let's pick that up as well. Has that gone? Yes, it has. Terrific stuff this time from Yuvraj Singh. Having a full day at the moment, these two. Is he going to be able to get to it? Oh, it's a very, very good effort. Doesn't quite get there. Runs away for four runs. Morris Adumbi it is. Ends a huge over for India. 18 runs from it. 49 gone. 265 for three. You've read seeing this time. Has he hold out? David Abu is down there and he's taken a very good catch. You've read seeing. Heading it in the air, just a little bit too much elevation. But, uh, he's done his job, he's given the captain lots of strike and a hand little partnership again, but a good catch from David Abuya. And the second catch for him, he picked Tendulkar up. And as you've brought Singh, that is uh, finished. And again, a Kenyan fielder going for the catch. They know no other way. Let's go for those catches, even if they look impossible. 16 to Yuvraj Singh and 267 for four for India. He's hit that solidly. David Abuya is in the uh, in the line of fire again, and they just end up with a single to get to that 270 mark, which we were talking about all night. 270 for four after 50 overs. Outstanding knock from Sarah Ganguly. 111 not out. A captain's knock again. His third hundred in the World Cup. Outstanding, Sanj. Well, the consistent run for India continues. It started off slow and measured, but a good opening partnership between the two right-handers, Sehwag and Tendulkar. Tendulkar missing out on another 100 in this tournament, but Ganguly's got three of them, 111 not out, and they've uh, reached a score of 270 for four, which on this outfield, Mike, I think is as good as 300. India will be pretty pleased with that after winning the toss and electing the bat after 50 overs, 274, a little spurt at the end was good stuff, and Sarah Ganguly magnificent, his third 100 in this World Cup, not out 111 of 114 balls, a good stand also with Sachin Tendulkar, got 83, and that stand was 103, so that's a good total in the end, 270 for four, if you look at the Kenyan bowling, six were used, and three were successful, Thomas Adoyo picked up 145 off 10, which is pretty good stuff, Ongondo was impressive, one for 38 off 10, and also Steve Takoto, the skipper, decided to give himself uh, a trundle. Six and over, he went for and picked up uh, an important wicket. That is the story. Kenya need 271 runs. They've got 50 overs available. They weren't docked any at all, and the required rate is just under five and a half. Kennedy Abuya is opening the batting. He would uh, have a little bit of extra protection on that elbow of his, I'd imagine, after that nasty blow from uh, Brett Lee the other day, averaging uh, just over 25. And also Ravindu Shah, who has had a good World Cup. His average does not reflect his ability. He's played very well, averaging in the 30s. Zahir Khan. Good shot. Very good shot indeed. Square on the offside for four. Got a good stride in. That's a good shout. Again. Oh, finally, the thing that it goes up. I was just about to say again, he has been refused by umpire Harper. Perhaps it was the continuous appeal. We'll have to wait and see. And if at all this ball is pitching in line, it's because of the length. The length is very full, and you've got to say Daryl Harper had a very good look at it. It's not swinging too much for Zaire Khan. So pitch is on leg stump, and where is it heading? Straight into the furniture. It's a good decision, and he could see it when he had a look at it. And he was quite clear in his mind exactly what was going to happen. Ravind Dusha, a better batsman, is dismissed, gone for one, and Kenya 20 for one. 
That's in the air, and I think that would be the end of Puka and Gondo. Don't think anyone could have expected much different, really. Hasn't got the class to perform at number three at this level. And what's going to happen to the next batsman is an opposition even more fired up. They picked up two wickets, trying to play the short arm pull, looking to just chip it over mid wicket. All he does is gives catching practice to Zahir Khan. So in the act again, taking a catch this time after picking up a wicket. Zahir Khan at mid on helps out his partner Ashish Nehra, who is picked up on Gondo for a duck. And the score 21 for two. Ouch! Caught by Dravid. Good delivery from the veteran. Now, this is classic Jevagal Srinath. He's a magnificent bowler over the years. In the right area, lets the seam do the work. Little Dravid makes no mistake. Kennedy Aboya. He's gone. He's gone for 15. It's 30 for three. Oh, this is going to be fun for whoever is under that. It's gone a mile in the air. Well caught. Very well caught. Looks simple, but trust me, it isn't. Now, I'll tell you, this is one of those wickets that's great to watch from up here. But if you're the man down at fine leg under this, well, first of all, it's up there what seems an eternity, and then it'll be swinging all over the place. Thomas Doya going for the big one, skying it, and I have to say that the Serwag has taken that and made it look extremely easy. It wasn't, believe me. Doya's gone for seven, it's 36 for four. Well played. What a fine cricket shot. Whether it went for six or four doesn't matter. But what a beautiful cricket shot. He's prepared to use his feet. Here he goes again. This might be out though. Yes, it is. One too many, but he had to try. That's the question later. If only I tried. He did try. Magnificent six off the first ball of the over. This time, not quite timing it, not getting hold of it all. So Khan makes no mistake. Rudraj Singh picks up the wicket of Morris Adumbi. He's gone for 19, it's 63 for five. Abhijan Singh. Oh, that's uh, another very good delivery. It's gone straight past the bat, straight past Rahul Dravid, and it's going to run away for four byes. It was the top of you again, but lovely flight. Yeah. That's going to run away towards uh, the fence. It's pretty slow in that region. Just going to trickle on the right. So four runs. Yeah. Gone. Raul Dravid's taken the catch. Zahir Khan back into the attack, and he's picked up a wicket. He's broken the back of Kenya now. 92 for six they are. Well, you could see it coming. He had beaten the bat on a couple of occasions. He was pitching the ball up, getting some movement away from the left-hander. And finally, he's rewarded. Again, excellent seam position. Just playing inside it, bat away from the body. And once again, when the batsman nicks, Dravid makes no mistake. Zahir Khan picks up his second wicket. Hitesh Modi departs and Kenya reeling at 92 for six. 151 for one. Kenya 47 behind. We've lost five more wickets. This could be problems. Well, Ramjan Singh puts his hand up in the air. I think Steve Buckner is just making sure exactly what happened here, but Habajan Singh didn't look all that confident. There's a long way to go. Here comes the dive. Surely, direct hit he would have been out. It's close. And the bat is in the air. That is another problem for the umpire, the third umpire. Yeah. Well, I know what I think. Let's see what the third umpire thinks. 
Well, I think he's absolutely right. It's not an easy decision, but uh, a little unlucky for David Boyer. Unfortunate, but he has to go. It's 104 for seven. What a great shot that is. Top of the roof and over it. That's gone a very long way. And it's been dropped in the crowd. No, don't come up with it, having picked it up off the floor. He's got an edge on this, he might get four for it. He does. And again. Six more. Pulled him out, dragged it back onto the stumps. Sachin Tendulkar takes the applause graciously. What a good innings from the Kenyan captain. He's got all kinds of variety with the wrist spin. This is a quicker delivery. And uh, looking to hit hard, just came in a bit too quickly for him. And also didn't quite turn as much as he expected. He's delighted. And why not? He loves taking wickets. Wants to be involved in the game at all time. And did well on that occasion. Steve Chikolo gone for 56. And Kenya 161 for 8. Not a bad shout. That's out. Up goes that finger from up by Steve Buckner. Just a little bit of a reverse swing, I think. It darted back into the last minute and caught him in front. Well, he's such a natural. Just watch the seam here when it leaves his hand. He's bowling seam up. He's been bowling leg spin for all this while. Have a look at this. Bolt upright, reverse swing, struck in line, that would have knocked over the center pole. So Kenya lose their ninth wicket. It's 179 for nine. Got him! Terrific Yorker to finish things for Zahir Khan. He's had a great night, that's his third. Picks up three for 14. And they've wrapped this up in emphatic style. Really, really top-notch performance from India. First-class effort around the wicket. Perfect Yorker. Again, just a hint of reverse swing. That's good enough for number 11. The centre stump knockback. And this is an emphatic win for India. They dominated the game from the outset and a journey that started on the 12th of February as it ended up with them being in the final of the World Cup. So there's a look back at Kenya's batting, 179 they made, the top scorer was Steve Tocolo with 56, second top scorer was Extras with 39, and then Collins Aboya with his highest score in one international cricket making 29, so all out for 179. The bowling for India was very, very good indeed, only just Yuvraj Singh getting a little bit of a tap, but look right at the top, Zahir Khan, just over nine overs, two maidens, three for 14, he set the trend, Javagos Srinath was spot on again as you can see with those figures, and also Ashish Nira, two for 11, off five. So looking back at the match summary, India winning the toss batting first, 270 for four. Ganguly superb with his 22nd one international 100 and Kenya then all out for 179. And India won by 91 runs and play Australia in the big final.